Hey everybody, this is your girl, Miss Queen Minded, aka Nicole, aka your gardening goodness. Um, so this is what I'm talking about. Okay, listen, I know like the new thing these days is for us to be all uncovered with our boobies out and and butt and all this stuff, but listen, that is not how it's supposed to be, ladies. If you read the Bible, which I know we are all Christian women and we all want to abide by God's rules and be seen in God's favor, you know, at least I do. I don't know about you or how what you work with, but I'm telling you what thus says the Lord, number one, is that he doesn't want us half naked. It's in the Bible. You can Google it. Does God want me to be naked? A woman should dress a moderate modesty, modesty, meaning covering your butt, long dresses, long skirts. You know, no cleavage like this shirt right here. Look at this. This is all me right here. You see that there? All that cleavage. And this is how I wore it today. You know what I'm saying? And I have another, like a cap, uh, another robe that I put on that I go out in. And I, my hair, we actually have the word playing. So my head is covered. This is things that God wants us to do. Also, I got my fringe. As a child of God, there are certain laws, statutes, and commandments that we are supposed to be abiding by that we're not. And one is covering up. You know, if you, especially if you're a woman that's already married, no one should see your hair. It's in the Bible. A part of his 613 laws, statutes, and commandments about how he would like, how he wants us to dress. No dyes in our hair. No jeans. Those of which pertain to a man. When you go to the bathroom, when you look at the bathroom door, it's something, it's a guy, he has pants, and a lady has on a dress. The reason why it's like that is because your grandmother, her grandmother, they didn't wear, they didn't wear pants. And we're not supposed to be wearing pants. And God doesn't want to see your booty and all your assets. Now, I'm going to take it from the spiritual side and just tell you really straight up. Like, if a man wants you, make him see past what you have to offer physically. You know what I'm saying? You want to be, you want to attract somebody that's going to see the beauty in you. I don't want somebody who's just checking out all my goods. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that he's not in for the long haul. But if I cover myself up and I present myself, thus says the Lord, I am forcing you to see past all of what you could see. Or what, I, what, my, what I have to offer physically, but what I have to offer spiritually and, what, and who I am as a person. That way you can talk to me and not talk to my cleavage. I get so sick of that. And I am 5'11", and I cannot tell you how many 5'8", this tall little man, they just like this. Thing. I'm like, look, up. My eyes are here. Talk to me, not my breast. I am not my chest, and neither are you. If you want to be respected in this world, you better learn to cover up. Don't no man need to see all the inner workings of your vagina. Cover that up. That is your private parts for a reason. They call that private because it's supposed to be kept private unto your man or your husband that you choose to settle down with. That's not my words, lady. I'm telling you, like, I'm on my leg. I want you ladies to get right. And if you really want to attract something that's not, you don't want to be playing with somebody, baby mama, holla at your girl and listen to me. You know what I'm saying? You think that this the way to do I don't care how, how, how naked you is. You ain't getting no love out here in these streets. The woman that covers up is the woman that is the gem and the jewel because she know that he, she is more than what she wears out here in these streets. Now you can debate me all you want to, and I love it when you do. Send me an email, queenforcreation at gmail.com. Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Cover up, ladies. It's, it is so godly, and it makes you feel wonderful. I ain't got to do my hair every day. My hair done under here. You know what I'm saying? It's done. <laughs> but... I don't have to worry about it. God say, I'm going to take care of everything. He say, you ain't even got to worry about it. Just, if you're feeling bloated and fat, put on a big old dress. You ain't even got to worry about it because you all covered up. You know what I'm saying? So you, and that way you can work on your physical. You can feel good about yourself because you decorated and find things that cover up all your flaws. And you don't have to be self-conscious. That's another thing. You know what I'm saying? And even if you do have a beautiful body, that's fine. But what else are you besides your, besides your physical assets? You know what I'm saying? So you got to look at it. It's bigger than what we think it is, ladies. It's definitely bigger. I want you to study those 613 law statutes and commandments. I want you to get in and read your Bible. And I want you to eat right, exercise, and love yourself. I love you. God bless you. Peace.